So anyone who's driven a big van, any large vehicle really, uh, they're not easy to park. And our camper van in particular is no exception. We do have a big light on the back, which when it was dark was really easy to use. I could switch the light on and I, I, in the mirrors, I could see a shadow when we were getting close to the car. So I use that as a good reference. However, it's not as good as parking sensors. Now, although the van does have parking sensors, they've never worked. I did have a look at the wiring. It's all wired up correctly, so I can only assume that they are faulty. So I've bought myself some new ones. I say I bought myself some new ones. I actually bought them for a customer uh, and then they decided not to go ahead with it. So uh, they're now been kindly donated to the van. So I am going to go open the back doors and show you what we've got. So this is only a very simple set, four sensors and just a buzzer. So very simple to wire up. We've got positive, negative. Obviously the positive one will be wired into the reverse light. So when the reverse light comes on, it powers up the module and then the black one's just a ground. And this is obviously the reversing beeper, which I'm hoping is loud because it's probably going to be hidden behind one of the seats. And then a box of sensors. Simple as that. Now we've got four sensors in here. The van at the moment, if I come around here, only has the two. It's got one there that doesn't work. And it's got one there that doesn't work. So it'd be really nice to have parking sensors. We had to park this. To make life easier and to give myself more light, I have removed the rear light, which is just these two sort of wing nut type things. Now you can access some in the back there. And then that comes out. Doesn't really give you much access. Um, you just got the wiring for the light coming through a little hole. But it does give you a lot more light. So I think the easiest option will probably be to put all the sensor wiring and come straight up here behind the rear lights and just go in there. I think that's going to be a much easier option. All right, so we've got the. So it's really bright here. We've got the multimeter. It is set up to volts. You can see there. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I think, it's only these two wires that I'm interested in. So actually, before we set it up to volts, let's just do a bit of continuity. And then we will find, we've got a good ground somewhere. It's probably going to be, there you go. So we've got a good ground. Let's untangle that so that we're not pulling it back out again. And then hopefully this one here, yep, that gives us the ground. And then if we go down to, I think go up to Voltage, hopefully we've got nothing there at the moment. Nope, nothing. So I'm gonna now put the ignition on. Hopefully with ignition we haven't got anything. Let's make sure we're not in gear, especially not reverse, because what, we, what we're looking for is power there, only when we go in reverse. Uh, so, sorry about the music. Nope, nothing at all. So now we'll go and turn the music off and then put it in reverse. Music off, reverse. Make sure we've got reverse lights as well. So we know it is in reverse. Yep, reverse light is on. And now hopefully we've got power there. Oh. And we don't. So, right, we know that that's scrap anyway. We're not bothered about that. Um, well, we can use that ground. I might cut off because we know that's a good ground. I might as well just join the new ground to that one there. And then we will actually, let's put it back in reverse because I've now got to find out which color wire so the plug on that side is the reverse. So just make sure my lights aren't on, although they tend to sometimes come with the ignition. So we should have no other lights now apart from reverse. Yep, just the reverse. And then multimeter. And so we've got loads, loads of wires here. Back probe. That one there, I think it is. Yay, we got power. Right, 
So we know it is the red and white wire there. So that is the one that we shall join the power to. Let's turn the ignition back off or I will have no electricity in the battery. Right, so I've got my soldering iron, I've got a little blade and due to an injury yesterday, I'm going to be really careful with that. I didn't use a blade, it wasn't on a blade, it was on a, uh, it was actually a piece of rust, a rusty wheel arch repair on the Jag, which didn't go down too well. Um, insulation tape and some solder. So I think what I'm gonna do is carefully cut this back and then we'll just cut some of the coating off of that yellow and uh, red and white wire and then uh, just solder where's me there it is i will unplug it obviously but then we'll solder the red wire onto that red and white wire that will give us our positive and then we'll just like i said we'll just join the black one straight onto the old plug because we know it's a good earth it's a lot easier than soldering onto the tail light. We've got the power wire with a soldered end. And I've put a little bit of solder on the wire that I've focus on that. Um, that I've cut with the blade. So actually I think probably what I'll do is feed that end through there. So I can pull that through from the other side. It gives us loads there. And then all I've got to do is solder that straight onto there, like that. Which I need two hands for, so I'll have to put the camera down again. Okie dokie. So, positive one wired in, taped up. Negative one, I've just used one of these crimp connectors. Um, yeah, not a fan of using them, but I've just run out of gas on my soldering iron. So we can cram all of that back in there, pull that through there. Right, that's that end good as new. And now we move to the sensors. Now I'm hoping that the sensors are the same size as the old ones. There's a hole saw, they normally always come with a hole saw. Yeah, look at these. Let's try that again. So feed that through there. Okay, pull it all through. Do -do -do. And they fit. They fit. Look at that. And they're more of a matte finish than a gloss finish. Let's move the door. There you go. They're more of a matte finish than a gloss finish. So once the so made the bumpers go black, properly black, then uh, they'll look quite smart. Okay, so it wasn't easy, but I have got the wire. And you see the little green wire there. There we are. Pull it that end. Pull that end. Goes up there. I'm going to feed it down through here so it'll be hidden behind the light and then we can come up going through there with the parking sensors. Um, so I think what I'm going, probably going to do to try and make life easy for myself is get all the sensors in and then just tie, all, tie them all together. There's quite a big hole in there to pull them through. And I think it's going to be a lot easier than trying to do one by one. So obviously we've got one hole over there already. I'm going to go and grab some masking tape and we will fit the other sensors in. I think it's going to be the best thing to do next. Right, so we've got a hole there, original hole for the sensor. There was a hole at the back, I've already put the sensor in. Then 47 centimetres across, we've got a line. And 47 centimetres from that one, we've got a line. It does make the gap in the middle a bit bigger, but I'm not too bothered about that. Um, they're far enough away that they shouldn't cause any problems. And most importantly, they're even. Uh, so we want to measure to the middle of that hole there. This isn't the easiest thing. Let's just go up. Oh, okay, maybe we go down. That's better. So I'll make that about 30, about three and a half centimeters, 35 millimeters. So we will literally do the same thing on here. So we'll hang that, hang that there, like that. And if I am clever enough to hold the camera between my legs, get my pen, and then we put a line right there. That then gives us the middle of where 
the uh, we need the hole. If I screw it we'll do the same over here. So let's just test the theory again with this one. We had about 35 mil to the middle, but it's about 35 mil. Might, yeah, sort of just over, just under, I think. But we'll keep it simple. We'll go 35 again. Okay, right about there. Cool. Now we've got two holes to drill. Tied the green wire to the ends, and hopefully they should just come through. There we go. Look at that. Um, a couple of them, the far ones. There's very little excess, but there should be enough there. I can just put them, poke them through, and then chances are we're going to have to put the module in that cavity where it was before. That's not a problem. Um, power one's already there so it's just a case of plugging everything in and then we'll try it out everything is now wired up in there i've tidied up these wires with the uh, twist clips that come with them anything left is the speaker now this i actually want to mount down the back of the seats um but it means taking the drawer out which i can't do because all this crap's in the way so for now I am probably just going to leave it sitting down there. I will tidy up all this excess. But if I plug that in, uh, I believe is that on there? Just so we can test out my parking sensors. There we go, plugged in. I heard that clip. So now, if we go back to the front, it should still be in reverse should have parking sensors. All right, oh, I heard a beep. They're very closer. I don't know if you can hear that on the, um, on the video. Turns away from the door all the way. No, it still picks up the door. No, it's picking up me. I'm gonna get closer. The wind shuts the door. That is a horrible, horrible sound to turn off. But we now have parking sensors. That was a bit more long-winded than it was supposed to be. Oh, there goes the door again in the wind. Um, so, obviously, I'm gonna put the light back on yet. Um, obviously, this is not the best way to do it. It should really go through a grommet. Um, so at some point I need to, well, I need to order a grommet something I keep here unfortunately and then I can just drill a hole in there and um, that should be fine for now uh, but I don't really want any water getting in my camper van so what's left for me to do now is stick the light on take it home uh, thanks for watching please do subscribe if you liked the video and I will catch you next time